So let's start with this former Republican presidential candidate, Nikki Haley, built up a fan base that took a chunk out of primary votes from you know who for repeatedly her warning her party about what a danger he is to democracy. Take a look. Chaos follows him. And we can't have a country in disarray and a world on fire and go through four more years of chaos. We won't survive it. He is unhinged. He is more diminished. The most harm he's ever possibly had is getting hit by a golf ball when he's sitting in a golf cart. Donald Trump cannot win a general election. You've got Donald Trump who put us $8 trillion in debt more than any other president. The reason that America keeps losing is because of Donald Trump. Many of the same politicians who now publicly embrace Trump privately dread him. They're just too afraid to say it out loud. So guess what happened yesterday? <laughs> she took a very sharp turn and made a shift. Check it I out. I put my priorities on a president who's going to have the backs of our allies and hold our enemies to account, who would secure the border, no more excuses. Biden has been a catastrophe. So I will be voting for Trump. I stand by what I said in my suspension speech. Trump would be smart to reach out to the millions of people who voted for me and continue to support me. don't know. Now, see, we're all saying, wow, ooh, ooh. But I don't know why anybody believed her when she said mm -hmm. that that's what she was, because she's, because mm -hmm. we've been saying this, she kind of does that thing when you pull in a fish, and the fish is like this, trying to get something. It, it you mean like a flip-flop? Like a flip-flop? Look, in a funny way, yeah. Flip-flop, 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 flip-flop. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know why anybody listens anymore, because she's never, she's not consistent. Uh, None uh, of them so, are. Uh, Alyssa, except you. So, uh, Alyssa, I'll say, you're, you're the like only to, consistent. You're I was, it. Would you like Thank to win? You. Thank you for acknowledging my consistency. Only consistent person um, I know from listen, the other side. I am disappointed, but I'm not surprised. I lost all faith in politicians quite some time ago. Um, and listen, maybe I'm being petty, but if someone attacked my intelligence, my family, my marriage, and American democracy, I probably wouldn't then go back the and military. support them and the military. Um, listen, Haley voters feel betrayed. I quick scan of her Instagram comments on this post itself, and it was just, we feel betrayed by you. You told us why we should be fearful of him, and now you mm -hmm. flipped on it. Um, but I I've always believed that the Haley voters actually were with her more because she was an avatar for something other than mm -hmm. Trump. Mm -hmm. I wasn't with Haley because I thought she was perfect. I was pretty critical of her at a number of times on this show. But she gave us hope of a party that could start inching the right direction. Mm -hmm. I am not convinced these 150,000 people who turned out in suburban Pennsylvania to cast a protest vote for her are going to go to Trump because she's supporting him. I think they were always more never Trump than she is. And I think it's time for Biden to engage them. He did one ad, but he needs to be calling Adam Kinzinger, Liz Cheney. He needs to be running those ads in swing states saying, Donald Trump said he doesn't want Nikki Haley voters. I want Nikki Haley voters. Mm -hmm. And listen, this is political expediency. It's pathetic. It's yeah. cowardly. And she did more. She did not help Donald Trump, but she damaged herself on Honestly, irreparably. Yeah. I think so. You think irreparably? Yeah. 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 Just, I mean, I, I don't know. It just, it just seems like, like you know, people have like ten lives in in, in public politics, especially in the Republican Party. I mean, you know, I've always said she was a flip flopper. She couldn't be trusted. Um, and I think this is about her future in politics with the Republican Party that is really the Trump party. She was never an earnest politician, if there, if one exists. I think Barack Obama was an earnest politician. Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley. For a while, she's been quiet, but recently, the women in the video showed the video about Nikki Haley, which was against Donald Trump. That somebody like Donald Trump cannot run for president. He's going to put this country into big problem. He's not credible. He has so many crimes. Donald Trump cannot ever rule America. She will not accept that. She cannot accept her people to vote for President Donald Trump. Nobody should vote for him. She had a lot of campaign. You know, even at the end, she refused to even endorse President Donald Trump. She was the last candidate. She was just there. Nobody. Donald Trump cannot win. Donald Trump must step down. She's going to fight with all power she has. She will do this. She will do this. They recently they show a video on her also. 
Ashwap Swap. That President Donald Trump is the best person to vote. We all know President Donald Trump is fighting for the borders. President Biden is a useless man. Nobody should listen to President Donald Trump. Everybody should listen to um nobody should listen to President Biden. Everybody should listen to Donald Trump. Who is President Biden? What can he say? What can he not say? He's not fit enough to rule this nation America. No one should vote for him. No one should vote for him. And she was screaming loudly. No one should vote for him. No one should vote for him. And the women in the view have their own opinion. <laughs> Whoopi said that she have never trusted Nikki Haley from the word go. She don't even trust with Nikki Haley. So she's not even surprised of all what Nikki Haley is doing. Nikki Haley is the one that, just as I say, Mikey Angelou said, if somebody showed you yourself the first time, agree that as a result. So we put in our hands in Nikki Haley, I have no character. So somebody without character can never rule. So why would they want to give somebody like Nikki Haley who has no character to be in control? So Nikki Haley don't have no character. They should just say that way. No one should even think Nikki Haley is serious. That they should not take him serious at all. Ha. So Nikki came and said that to her personally, she doesn't even trust Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley should just be quiet. Nikki Haley have no point to say. No one should listen to Nikki Haley. Who is Nikki Haley to come and talk about President Donald Trump? Because you know, Nikki Haley was saying that most politicians know that President Donald Trump. But the fact is that they are afraid to speak. But all they say is in the dark. So she, Nikki Haley, she's the bold one who have come out now in the outside plane and said it, which is a difficulty. So basically, no one want to talk about um no one want to talk about President Donald Trump. So the other politicians are friends. So they ask now why will Nikki Haley be behaving like that? Even Sarah will come and say that she knows she has never trusted no one like that. But she don't know why Nikki Haley is going to, to swap like that. All of them were surprised of the character trait that Nikki Haley just shown. So what do you think about Nikki Haley? Do you become President Donald Trump say that he doesn't even want the supporters from Nikki Haley also? So um, what do you actually think? Do you think that Nikki Haley, um, Donald Trump might put her vice president? Is that what she's looking for? Why is she supporting him now? Let me see your opinion in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. I'm not subscribed. Please help subscribe and help share the video. God bless you.